Let's think about your mindset, your state of mind during the process of, of coaching somebody using Continue and Begin Fast Coaching. It's really important that you're in a positive mindset and you're achievement focused. Some of the behavior patterns and thought processes which people adopt can radically improve or jeopardize the success of a Continue and Begin Fast Coaching session. Now, let's just explore some of the things where behavior breeds behavior. And one of the things that really you know, causes difficulty is, is when folk are suffering from what I call plomism, P-L-O-M, plomism, poor little old me. Now you've seen these folk, I'm sure, they you know, generally have got a physiology which is a little bit pathetic actually, and they're not really focused on success. There's a lot of sighing going on. Everybody gets a little bit of that from time to time, but in your role as a continue and begin coach, it's critical that you're upbeat and positive and solution focused, that you're full of energy and positivity about achievement. If you're suffering from plomism, guess what your coachee is going to start to suffer from very soon? Yeah, it's contagious and it's absolutely essential that we move out any plomism out of the environment for coaching because it's critical that we are achievement minded and we're thinking about goals. Let's think of some other mindsets, some other behaviours which get in the way. What about the person who's uh, what I call an R-butter, R-but. These are the folk, you come up with a great idea and they say, uh, but I'll tell you why that won't work. It's the negative mindset. We cannot afford to have that in the process of continuing begin fast coaching. We have to be focused on positivity, on goals and achievement. Otherwise the whole thing just crumbles. It falls apart like a pack of cards. Closely related to the R butters are cave people. You know, every now and again, you might meet a cave dweller, C-A-V-E. Those people who are consistently against virtually everything. Have you met them? <laughs> They're closely related to the R butters. They hang out together. You know, misery loves company, doesn't it? Hmm. It's not helpful if we want people to celebrate the things they're doing well and to strive for further achievement. What about the ick bars? I C B A. I can't be bothered. <laughs> if you're not full of dynamism and energy as we set about continue and begin fast coaching plans for your team members or your colleagues or your friends or your family members or whoever it is that you're helping, if you're not full of that dynamism, guess what? They're not going to be full of it either. It's contagious. Ick bars. What about mood hoovers? Oh my word. <laughs> These are the people who come in the room and it's like they've got a massive industrial sized vacuum cleaner and they suck out all of the energy and positivity of the room. And you can see people being deflated. In fact, as they walk in the room, you can see the folk who spot them walking in saying, oh no, here she is. These people are not helping. They're not providing an environment of positivity and, a, and challenge and adventure. Psychic vampires, they're just as bad. These are the people who sink their fangs into your neck. You know how vampires, you know, spread their love? Well, they infect people. They sink their fangs in and they fill them full of negativity. And the classic one you'll often hear is the people who moan and groan. And as they moan and groan, they sink their fangs into everybody else and encourage them to think how bad everything is. And it's very easy to get sucked into that. We can't afford to be operating as psychic vampires in your role as a coach. What about MGs, moaners and groaners? Have you spotted any of those? These are, they usually come in twos. One moans and the other one groans. <laughs> the first one moans and the groaner says, it's worse than that, let me tell you. And the moaner says, I didn't realize it was that bad. And they disappear into a vortex of negativity. The moaners and the groaners. No place for it in continue and begin. There's one other category I'd like to bring to your attention. It's the 2020s. In most environments, whether it's work or social or sporting, whatever it may be, there's somebody who's been there, seen it and done it. And you can't teach them anything, can you? They've got 20 years experience. Well, I've got to tell you, they haven't. Most times they haven't got 20 years experience. They've got one year's experience that's been repeated every year in the same way, irrespective of the world changing around them. They haven't got 20 years experience, they've got one year's experience multiplied 20 times. You understand the difference? We have to be open-minded and continue and begin fast coaching is new and it's innovative. And for many of the people you introduce it to, it'll be the first time they've experienced it. 
Use it with passion and energy, and that will infect. Let's infect people with passion. Let's infect them with innovation and excitement. Now we can start to develop people's change plans, which are built on positivity rather than all these negative mindsets.